So we start with the depth, it's just your first finger on the pan so we don't end up going around with it. In an hour you should get three pots made. Right. So every time we start a new one, we just need to clean the wheel head off to dry it. You never think that anything like that can happen to you. Uh, the fire just came at me from nowhere, four o'clock in the morning. Um, my little dog Pippa, my pug, she alerted me. My fire alarm didn't go off. Luckily, my French bulldog um, followed me down the stairs and out of the building. I, but I couldn't find my little Bichon Bella. I ran back into my house. They tried to stop me, but nothing could. With my injuries, my palms are clear. Um, they were untouched, but everything was burnt off. And I was taken and uh, put in a coma. During the critical stage of my recovery, there was many ups and downs. I was asked if I would, how I felt about seeing someone from, somebody from the Katie Piper Foundation. And it was, yes. Yeah. Vanessa has worked tirelessly with the team at the Katie Piper Foundation to get to where she is today. Vanessa went from not being able to move, use her hands or walk, to being able to join us here at the Rehabilitation Centre today, doing activities that lead towards her having a brighter life. Today we're taking Vanessa to do pottery, um, and it's not just fun, it's another version of hand therapy. Since leaving hospital, the only physio I've had is through the Katie Piper Foundation and their work is so important. Joanne Harrison is the head of patient rehabilitation and I, will, I call her my angel. There was a time where I was scared to leave the house um, and I would do anything to avoid just even stepping over the doorstep. She gave me so much confidence. I walked down the street, although I had to link her arm at the time. And like I, I would never have thought I would be able to write, draw, anything like that. But I, I can and I do. I had three beautiful horses stood out there in a the field. It took me two years before I could go and see my horses. And as I walked to them, they came up to me one at a time. And each horse gave the next permission to come in. And I was so worried that, that because I was limping, I was bigger, and that they wouldn't, but they did. They remembered me, and that was a magical moment. I do not think that had ever happened with my horses if it wasn't for the Katie Piper Foundation and it is really emotional when I think because without Katie Piper Foundation and what they've done for me, I, I, I know that I wouldn't be here now, I'd have given up long ago and that, that's the truth. You know, I do or everything to the foundation, it's so important. Surrounded by your girls. Yeah. Say your mom. Come on, let's join the circle. Come on.